One of the most common ways of dividing the world is into those who believe and those who don't, into the religious and the atheists. And for the last decade or so, it's been quite clear what being an atheist means. There have been some very vocal atheists who've pointed out not just that religion is wrong, but that it's ridiculous. These people, many of whom have lived in North Oxford, have argued... <laughs> They've, they've argued that believing in God is akin to believing in fairies, and essentially that the whole thing is a childish game. Now, I think it's too easy. I think it's too easy to dismiss the whole of religion that way, and it's as easy as shooting fish in a barrel. And what I'd like to inaugurate today is a new way of being an atheist. If you like, a new version of atheism we could call Atheism 2.0. Now, what is Atheism 2.0? Well, it starts from a very basic premise. Of course there's no God. Of course there are no deities or supernatural uh, spirits or angels, etc. Now, let's move on. That's not the end of the story. That's the very, very beginning. <laughs> the other thing that religions do is to arrange time. All the major religions give us calendars. What is a calendar? A calendar is a way of making sure that across the year you will bump into certain very important ideas. In the Catholic uh, chronology, Catholic calendar, you know, at the end of March you will think about Saint Jerome and his qualities of humility and goodness and his generosity to the poor. You won't do that by accident, you will do that because you are guided to do that. Now we don't think that way. In the secular world we think if an idea is important, I'll bump into it. I'll just come across it. Nonsense, says the religious uh, uh, worldview. The religious worldview says we need calendars, we need to structure time, we need to synchronize encounters. Um, this comes across also in the way in which religions set up rituals around important feelings. Let's think of something else. The people in the modern world, in the secular world, who are interested in matters of the spirit, in matters of the mind, in higher uh, soul-like concerns, tend to be isolated individuals. They're poets, they're philosophers, they're photographers, they're filmmakers, and they tend to be on their own. They are cottage industries. They are vulnerable single people. And they get depressed, and they get sad on their own. And they don't really change much. Now, think about religions. Think about organized religions. What do organized religions do? They group together. They form institutions. Uh, and that has all sorts of advantages. First of all, scale, might. 
The Catholic Church pulled in $97 billion last year, according to the Wall Street Journal. These are massive machines. They're collaborative, they're branded, they're multinational, and they're highly disciplined. These are all very good qualities. We recognize them in relation to corporations, and corporations are very like religions in many ways, except they're right down at the bottom of the pyramid of needs. They're selling us shoes and cars, whereas the people who are selling us the higher stuff the therapists, the poets, are on their own, and they have no power, they have no might. So uh, religions are the foremost example of an institution that is fighting for the things of the mind. Now, we may not agree with what religions are trying to teach us, but we can admire the institutional way in which they're doing it. Books alone, books written by lone individuals, are not going to change anything. We need to group together. If you want to change the world, you have to group together, you have to be collaborative, and that's what uh, uh, religions do. They are multinational, as I say, they are branded, they have a clear identity, so they don't get lost in a busy world. That's something we can learn from. I want to conclude. Really what I want to say is, for many of you who are operating in a range of different fields, there is something to learn from the example of religion, even if you don't believe any of it.